Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're going to create this lovely Christmas card. Let's go over the products I use. We're using the new release Pinecone and Poinsettia stamp set. This has a large sprig and it has a poinsettia and some pine cones. It has some uh, pine branches with pine cones, a large poinsettia by itself, and a leaf. It has sentiments like wishing you a merry Christmas, wishing you a very bright and merry Christmas. You can combine them. We're going to use the poinsettia here, the large sprig here with the poinsettia, and the sentiment reads, will be Merry Christmas. I have a piece of 140 pound Strathmore cold press uh, watercolor card, some 110 pound card, a piece about an uh, inch and a half by five and a quarter of five and a quarter, five and a half of the retro Christmas paper pad and my card base is 110 pound white card stock. I'm also going to bring in some of the Uli's watercolors. I'm just going to use the red and the blue here to add some, some shimmer to our uh, image. I'm going to use the Versafine Clear ink and I'm also going to bring in some Ranger embossing powder, one in clear and the other one is in detailed gold. I'm going to use Versafine Clear because it'll be easy for everyone to see as I stamp and so forth. As for watercoloring, I'm going to bring in the Buddhist Monroe pig, Aqua Pigment, but you can use any watercolors that you prefer. Those are the ones I have at hand, so those are the ones I'll be using. Alright, so I'm going to set up my uh, Misty real quick. I'm going to put my sticky mat into it because I'm going to, this is a large image and I want to stamp it a little off center. So I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to grab my uh, watercolor panel and I'm going to use some anti-static anti powder on it. This is the Cottontail Anti-Static Powder uh, Dispenser and you pump it three times, remove the lid, and then you see that little white dot? There's your powder. It's coming out so you're just going to rub it all on here. Now you can't see it. It's white on white. So, but it does. It just makes sure that nothing else other than the ink is wet, makes everything else, you know, neutral, so that your, your embossing powder only sticks to your ink. All right, so now I'm going to put my panel into my Misty. I'll rearrange my magnets here a little bit, and I'm going to bring in my large image. This image is beautiful. This stamp set, uh, I didn't mention, I don't think I did, is designed by Kelly Taylor. She has a uh, wonderful channel here on YouTube that she does amazing, I mean incredible cards. So she's extremely talented uh, card maker and now she's designing for the rabbit hole designs. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and ink up my image, stamp it. I'm going to do this several times. I am working with Strathmore watercolor paper so it is textured so I want to make sure that my image is fully on here. And there's a couple times I'll have to check and there's a couple of spots that I'm like, yep, I need to little press a little bit more on here. Once I get that all on, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to cover this with clear embossing powder. All this does is it seals in my ink and it makes it easier for me to watercolor. It's a cheat way. It keeps everybody contained, all the colors contained where I want them to be. For the most part, I should say. All right, so now I'm going to heat set this. I'm going to use my, you know, finger saver here, which is a closed pin, to hold my panel so I stay out of the heat source. And you know your panel is completely set when your embossing powder goes from a dull to a nice shiny, uh, you know, nice and shiny. I'm going to let that set that aside to cool off before we move on. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my white panel. And I'm going to use the anti-static powder, and then I'm going to place it in my Misty, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And my sentiment will be Merry Christmas. So I'm going to grab those really quick, place those onto my panel. And they don't have to be near each other because I'm going to fussy cut these out so that I have a nice cut out sentiment. I'm going to use this, again, the Versafine Clear, and I'll stamp that, and then I'll cover this in gold embossing powder heat set that until it's shiny. 
Normally I use a uh, Versamark ink, but since we're doing this on the video, I figured you could see it better if I used the Versafine Clear. Versamark ink is a clear sticky ink. It's harder to, it's hard to see on, on camera. All right, so let me clear all this out, cover this up, and heat set this. And I like to heat from front and back because it minimizes our warping. I did that with both panels, but you still get some, but it's not as much. I'll set that aside to cool so that we can start coloring our panel. I don't do all the coloring here. I'm just going to show you a little bit. So here's my color. Here's my little palette, and I dropped a few drops of each of the colors, except for the yellow and the gold. I'll do those last. So I'm going to show you really quick how I pre do this. I like to start with clean water on our image. So I'm going to start here with the pine cone, and then I'm going to put a large not a large, <laughs> concentrate all the color towards the bottom here, closest to the flower, because that would be where the shadow is. And then I just gently pull that ink, or watercolor pigment, pull the pigment out so that you can see it just go from a darker to a lighter. For the pine needles, I'm going to use the dark, I'm just going to use green in the center, and then I'll use the yellow green to pull out the ink or the pigment. I keep saying ink, but you know what I mean, it's watercolor. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull out the watercolor that way. This will make it have some definition so it's not just so flat. And then for the berries, I um, just go in straight. I don't add any water to it because it's a small area. I'm going to proceed, so I just go ahead and drop it right in, just the blue. No water because it's like I said, it's a small area. And then I'm going to do one of our petals of our poinsettia. And I'm, I'll repeat this all off screen just to save you time because I know this is part of the hop. And you want to hop on to the next person and see all the beautiful inspiration from the design team. So I do the same thing. I put the red towards the bottom and then I pull it out with, green, with pink. So I have a two-tone kind of feel to our petals. And then in the end, I will just add some of the Uli shimmer watercolor pigments on top so that our poinsettia has this beautiful shimmer and then I'll use the blue on the berries. So here's our image all done. I have I've done most of my uh, color I've done all of my coloring and I did most of the Uli shimmer watercolor on top except for one petal. I wanted to show you how easy that is. I just do the same thing. I put it in there and pull it out and then um, for the background, I used blue watercolor, and I just washed it all to the top there of the image. Here where I got some on there on the card, I got some of the red on the card. No worries, that's going to be cut away. So I'm going to do the same thing with our berries. I'm going to pull in some of this blue shimmer and put it in there. And here's our panel. I hope you can see all the shimmer all done all set and then for the yellow center I put the yellow watercolor and I use the gilded which is a gold shimmer in the center I'm gonna cut away all this excess white here so that we can make our card so here is our sentiment all cut out here's the edge all cut away from that all I've kept was the left side which I have like I said that pale pale blue on there to make our card I'm gonna glue this one piece here of the retro Christmas card paper, which is, I said, it's about an inch and a half wide by five and a half long. And I have foam adhesive on the back of our panel, where we have our, our poinsettia, all on it. And then I'm going to use a little barely art glue just so I can manipulate it so I can get it even and straight on here. And now I have some foam adhesive on the back of our sentiment, which I'm going to carefully pull away. And I cut those into little tabs on there and I placed the Mary on there and then our Christmas trying to make sure that we are straight I'm using the grid lines on my mat there we go place Christmas put Mary just on top I want it to nestle and then you can see you have some dimension but since I use low profile foam adhesive this some but not so much that you're like oh I can't mail that Gonna finish it off with some, this calls for confetti, gold uh, confetti, just here and there, because that brings in the gold from our sentiment in the center of our poinsettia. And our card is complete. 
there you have it it has all this shimmer and fun I'm trying to use my phone so you can see even more shimmer it's shimmery but not so much that you're like Ooh, that's too much and sorry for the glare you need the light to take the, to make the video but then it, it, it makes a mess so again we use the poinsettia and pine cones new stamp set designed by Kelly Taylor I'll have everything linked in the description box below don't forget to hop along